Welcome back to the SparkFun Inventors Kit for LabVIEW tutorial series. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW MakerHub, and in this section, we'll learn how to control the brightness of an LED using PWM. I'm using the same circuit schematic that I was in the last section. All you really need, though, is one LED connected to one of the PWM pins on the redboard. In this case, I'm using pin 10. So from the LabVIEW Getting Started window, I'll choose Help and Find Examples. Then I'll click the Search tab and search for Links. We'll use the Links PWM One Channel VI. I'll double click to open it, and then I'll close Example Finder. We're still using COM3, so I'll select that for my serial port, and I'll change the PWM channel to 10. Now I'll click the Run button to run the VI. By default, the duty cycle is set to zero. And you can see that our LED is completely off. I'll set the value to one, and you can see the LED now appears to be fully on. We'll try a value of 0.5, and you'll notice that the LED dims. If we reduce this to 0.1, you'll notice the LED is dimmer yet. So this is how we can use PWM to control the brightness of an LED. The duty cycle ranges from 0 to 1, with 1 being fully on and 0 being fully off. Rather than typing numbers, it would be nice if we can control the brightness with a slider. So I'll stop the VI, and let's look at the code first. We establish a connection to the redboard, then we use the set duty cycle one channel VI. So this sets the PWM duty cycle, and we pass it a double between 0 and 1. Then we close the connection to the Lynx device, and handle any errors. So we can just replace this double control with a different type. I'll return to the front panel, right click on the numeric control, and choose replace numeric, and I'll choose a vertical point slide. I'll reposition that, and by default the value ranges from 0 to 10 but we want, only want zero to one. So I'll double click the 10 and change it to one. And you'll see my values scale accordingly. Now I'll click the run button. And now, as I change the slider, you'll see the LED gets bright or dim depending on where my slider position is. That gives you a basic overview of how you can control LED brightness using PWM. In the next section, we'll talk about RGB or red, green, blue LEDs. Until then, think about how you could modify this code to automatically cycle between brightnesses. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects, and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.